Hello, this is Vicky from the Spellbound Bee Company. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a leaf motif and then how to connect them together to make this cute pair of acorn earrings. To make the leaf motif, we're going to need some size 11 Delica beads. I'm using a matte brown and you're going to need some size 15 seed beads. I'm using a silver lined green. At uh, the end of the video, I shall show you how to connect the leaf that we're going to make to the acorn to make a pair of earrings. Uh, but let's get started with the leaf. So I'm going to start by picking up seven Delicas and four um, size 15s. I'm working with about a metre of thread. I'm working with a dark brown Nymo D. I've got a size 10 needle and I've tied my keeper bead about 15 centimetres or so from the end of the thread. We're going to come back down through that first size 15 and then through the following six Delicas. So we're going to ignore the Delica that we added on at the beginning. That's there for when we want to finish off the leaf at the end. So we're just going to concentrate on these six Delicas here for the vein of the leaf. OK, so there you can see we've got the six Delicas and the four 15s to make up the body of the, the leaf. I'm going to start by picking up three size 15s. And I'm going to go back through that Delica that I've just come out of. Preferably without poking yourself in the finger. Once I've done that, I'm going to go up through the first two 15s that we added there. And I'm going to make sure that's sitting nice and snug. I'm then going to pick up another three size 15s. And this time we're going to come down the second and the first bead of the vein. So down through, oops, one, two of those. And then we're going to come back up through the first two 15s of the previous stitch again and then we're going to follow that by going through the first bead of the three that we've just put on. Right, we're then going to pick up four size 15s four size 15s and we're going to go down through the third and the second beads of the vein We're then going to come back through the first horizontal bead there, which is the, the, the last of the first set of three 15s that we added. And then we're going to go up through the first 15 there and then two more that follow it. Okay, then we're going to pick up three more 15s. And we'll come, we're going to come back down through the fourth and third stitches of the vein. We're going to come through the two beads whoops, that are adjacent to the thread. So that's these two. There. We're then going to come back up through. Uh, do, do, do. We're going to come back up through the first bead there and then the following two. So we've gone through one, two, three, four. So the next stitch 
we're going to pick up three beads, three fifteens, and we're going to come down through the fifth and the fourth delicas. And then we're going to go through, oh, fingers in a jumble. We're going to come out through the two that are adjacent to the thread. We're going to go up through those two there, and then the two following. And then we're going to pick up three fifteens and we're going to come through the three beads at the tip of the leaf to complete the first side of the leaf. Okay, so there we can see the first side of our leaf. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back down through the rest of the beads. So I'm coming through that first 15 and then the following six Delicas. Remember, we're still ignoring that first one that's there. And we're going to repeat what we've just done on this second side of the leaf. So we start by picking up three beads, three fifteens. We're going down through that first delica on the vein there. We're then going to go up through two size 15s on the side again. We're then going to pick up three and we're going to go back down through the bottom two beads of this vein. Now this is starting to get a little bit tight. If you find that it's getting too tight to pass your needle through, change your needle for a finer needle. So go down to a size 12. Uh, don't try and force your needle through because that's how beads get broken. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back up through the two beads from the first pass and then the first of the beads that we've just added in that pass. So the next stitch uses four fifteens. And we're going to come back down through the third and the second beads on the vein. We're going to come out through this one on the side. There. And we're going to go up through the first, the, the one next to it, and then the first two of the stitch we've just added. Whoops. Okay, so the next one, we're going to pick up three beads. And just check we're coming through bead number four and three on the main vein. And then we're in through two beads on the side. And two beads on the side from the previous stitch. And then the first two of the beads that we've just added on. Okay, so nearly there. We're going to pick up three more beads. Three more 15s, sorry, I should say. And we're going to come down between the fifth and the fourth beads that we've just added there. We're going to go through two. And up through four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to add on two more fifteens. And we're going to go back through the tip of the leaf again. And there you can see we've got our nice symmetrical 
leaf. So this time when I come down, I'm going to come back through the beads on the vein. So just those six delicas again. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to move the keeper bead. I'm going to go through this delica in the same direction as before. And what will happen is that will pull it sideways so that it sits with the hole um, at 45 degrees to the holes in the rest of the delicas. I'm then going to pick up three more delicas and I'm going to bring those round into a circle. Okay, so there we've got like a little pico sitting above the, the end of the leaf. So we'll just reinforce that. Like so, and then we're going to finish off our thread ends. So we'll just come down through a few beads on the vein. And then we'll go around there we'll finish off that thread. So I'm just tying a knot and pulling it tight. And then what I'm actually going to do, because this vein is already quite full of beads, is I'm going to come out through the size 15s on the side and I'm just going to tie another knot here. And I'm going to go through another couple of beads And then I'm going to trim off the thread. Okay. Then I've got another needle ready here. I'm going to take that keeper bead off. And I'm going to finish this thread end off in the same way. So. Now I think this central vein is. Yep, it's a little bit too full. So I'm going to come down through the beads. The 15s on the side of the leaf and just tie a knot and go down through another couple of beads there and then I'm going to finish snipping that off. Okay so now we've got our acorn and our leaf and we're just going to connect those together with a jump ring and then attach them to the ear wire. So I'll just go and grab some supplies and I'll be back with you in a minute. To connect the motifs together to turn them into an earring, you're going to need some four mil jump rings, your ear wire and some pliers. I'm using two pairs of flat nose pliers. These are to open your jump rings with, so a pair of flat and a pair of round will work as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist open the jump ring and I'm going to pass it through the bead at the top of the acorn stalk and close it back up again and then we'll use the second jump ring and we'll pass that through the bead at the top of the leaf and then close that one back up as well. To connect them all together, we're going to open the loop on the ear wire. We'll pass the acorn and the leaf, and then we'll twist that back closed again. And there we have the completed earring. So you're going to make a second one to match, which handily I did off camera. And there you have your pair of earrings. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Please let us know if you were. Uh, if you have a go and we will see you again soon.